Now, I've got a big fight coming up later this month on Sky Sports. What a year it is for boxing as well. In prospect, the next nine months are going to be absolutely brilliant. Well, Britain's still in white takes on Australian Lucas Brown for the WBC Silver title. <laughs> Alonso, too, as you can see, Lucas is here with us in the studio. Um, great to speak to you. Thank you very much indeed for coming in and having a wee chat. I think, you know, you've had some high-profile sparring partners for, for this yes, one yes. as well, haven't you? It's gone quite well. Let, um... let, let, just tell us a little bit about I mean, start off with, with Derek Chisora. For example, um, I reached out to Jazora. Uh, last time I was here for the actual press conference and everything initially in January, um, I had a, a lovely dinner with his uh, manager. Mm -hmm. So we organised it from then. Um, Chisora is an absolute champion. Like he's a very down to earth uh, guy. We went out to his house, all that sort of stuff. He showed us around, um, and yeah, the sparring's been great. I mean. You know, obviously, of the of the backgrounds in terms mm. of Chisora and, and, and Dylan White. Yep. They just simply do not like each other. No. Um, it, was that one of the reasons why you decided to, to work a bit with Derek? To, to see what is going to be, you know, <laughs> the way of picking apart Dylan White, what gets under his skin a little bit, perhaps? We didn't go too far into that. We obviously had a, a little bit of chat about what, what should be done and what could be done, etc. Um, I think it was just the fact that it, it was good sparring. He's been in there with him, so... He could give me some pointers on that, that aspect, but it was just it was just great sparring from what I needed. Okay, and, and um, Dylan White beaches already also performed pretty well against Anthony Joshua. And That's right. You, you've described him as the, the new Chisora. What was great about that? Pretty much um, one of your gatekeepers. Uh, now, if you were to go on and beat him, you're onto bigger and better things. If you don't, then you've got to sort of go back to the drawing board. I, I, I look I look at it that way. So, um, yeah, he's he's been there in big fights. He's made some um, great money, and he, he's been there for the UK boys. boxing for a long time. So, yeah, yeah. I, I think Dylan White's one of those uh, one, the new Chisora. Right. So it's it's one of those fighters that allows you to reach the next phase in your career should you get past him. But if not. That's right. Then, then you so. have to rethink. And, and he's very good, don't get me wrong, but um, I think if you're going to be great, then you have to get past these sort of people, yes. Right, OK. Now, here's an interesting little thing. You've said that, that Dylan White is silly yeah. to take this fight. Yes. Um, next in line to fight Deontay Wilder for the WBC title. We know this how things correct. are looking in the heavyweight division particularly. Yeah. Um, but he's decided to fight you first. Um, yeah. Now, you've never lost. Mm -hmm. uh, KO's in all, th all but three of your fights. That's correct, um, yeah. Why has he done it then? I'm not sure. I think he has something to prove um, to everyone else. Um, yeah, to, to be honest, like I, 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 I have that KO power. I have that power to be able to knock anyone out. Um, I have 45 minutes and 12 rounds to land one clean punch that lasts for 10 seconds, basically. So mm. from that point of view, I think it's a very silly fight. I've got a, I've got a great chin. Um, I've got good stamina and I've got power to burn. So, yeah, it's, it's just quite silly, to be honest. But if you if playing devil's advocate here, mm -hmm, Lucas, mm -hmm. I mean, if you had to pick one thing, Yep. that is the most sort of dangerous thing about Dylan White yep. coming into this fight. Well, what would that be? I think he has good cardio. He, do, he does sort of keep on the pace all the way through the fight. Um, specifically, obviously, with the Chisora. It went, went the full 12 rounds, but he did stay on the pace for the whole fight. And, and you also, we talked about some sparring partners, Derek Chisora. Mm -hmm. How about a completely different kettle of fish? <laughs> yes. Um, Tyson Fury. Yes. A very different fighter to, to Dylan White as well. Yeah. Uh, why, why did you decide to spar with him? Initially, it was supposed to be uh, Nathan Gorman um, okay. out, of, out of Hatton's gym. Unfortunately, he had a week, uh, sorry, he had a fight the week before and, and injured the thumb just a little bit. So he, he kept off that week. We've been sparring this week um, down with, with um, Chisora. <laughs> But uh, he, the opportunity arose. You don't sort of say no to something like that. So we, we only had the one sparring session, but it was a great opportunity. It was great um, publicity and everything else. And we get to meet, meet the man again and, and have a good chat. He's been working out. I mean, what sort he of has. shape is, is he looking in? Obviously, I wouldn't say he's uh, obviously back to fight weight, mm. but a, a sensational shape, yeah. He, he looks good. He's moving great. So uh, I think he's well on the way to coming back. How, how do you assess things in the, in the heavyweight division right now? As, as I said before, I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's just fascinating. Yes. With, with Anthony Joshua, Joseph Parker up next. Yep. Yep, yep. How do you see that one going? Then potentially AJ and, and maybe Deontay Wilder, Wilder as well. That's right, yeah. So, well, so what, what's your assessment? Wilder is coming over for the AJ fight, so I think that'll be good if um, yeah, I, get, I get past um, White and then go to that as well. Yeah. I'll have sort of everyone in one spot, which yeah. would be nice. Um, basically, for me, it's, as long as I keep performing and obviously I want money for my family and everything else, that's, that's sort of the main thing sure. for me. But um, a, a world title would be great. So, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I think... With Anthony Joshua and Parker in particular, I think Parker's going to have a hard time with the reach. I think uh, yeah, Joshua has the reach on him. But if he does fight close like he did with the Tekken fight, um, he'll give Parker more of a chance. OK, let's go quick fire very briefly. Yep. Parker and Joshua, who wins? I think Joshua. OK, Joshua then takes on Wilder, mm -hmm. who wins? I think Wilder has the knockout power to get Joshua. OK, mm -hmm. and how much of a chance do you have to get into that mix and then just spice things up even more? 
in this division? I've got a great chin um, and I've got good stamina as well. Uh, I can go the 12 rounds, so I, I, I think I, I can you know, shake a few feathers, which is good. You are the dark horse in this picture. In, in, I, I, in, I'm, indeed. I'm enjoying what you're bringing to the party <laughs> Thank here. You. Thank you. Listen, great to speak to you. Thank you so much Lovely. for coming in once again.